The winter transfer market presents a golden opportunity for European clubs to revamp their performance, shedding underperforming players to acquire fresh firepower. Manchester United, despite their sluggish showing, must adhere to this strategy without exception. For those aiming to ascend the Premier League standings, an immediate implementation of the transfer plan is imperative. Eric Ten had recently outlined potential January exits, and among them stands Jadon Sancho, a player deserving of departure. Sancho, once brimming with promise, has long been absent from Manchester United's fold due to a fallout with Eric Ten Hag. His refusal to apologise for public discord led to suspension, as reported by The Independent. His insistence on ego over team harmony could fester negativity within the squad, rendering him devoid of value to the club. Moreover, Sancho's continued benching only serves to drain Manchester United's finances, given his hefty weekly wage of £350,000. The optimal resolution lies in parting ways, creating space for a winner eager to collaborate and heed the manager's guidance. Juventus has reportedly maintained interest in accommodating Sancho, hinting at a potential new chapter. Meet Anthony Marshall, the embodiment of a healthy road ambassador. The enigma remains, why does United persist with him? Over the last couple of seasons, Marshall's dedication to Manchester United has been questioned. His fervour seems lacking, seldom exhibiting the zeal necessary for the team. He appears lethargic in pursuit of the ball, ambling around without much effort to find space. Consequently, his lackadaisical playing style is evident, resembling casual jobs more than active participation. To compound matters, Marshall's presence on the field has been overshadowed by recurring injuries, overshadowing his appearances for the past two years. Hence, with the signing of Rasmus Hodgland, offloading Marshall became a top priority. United has been transparent about their willingness to part ways with the player. Rumours suggest a potential January 2024 departure if an enticing offer materialises. The proceeds from his sale would bolster resources for acquiring new talent. Both West Ham and Juventus have reportedly shown interest in securing Marshall's services. Upon his transfer from Ajax in 2020, Donny van der Beek stood as one of Ajax's premier midfield talents. However, from a neutral standpoint, the blonde-haired player's trajectory failed to yield a substantial impact. Repeatedly sidelined from the main squad at United, his career took a stagnant turn. Right from his arrival, breaking into the core team proved a daunting task for Donny, compounded by a lengthy injury during the previous season that further hampered his prospects. This term, he's only made fleeting appearances in two games for United. Even his loan stint at Everton in 2022 failed to catalyse a significant upswing in performance. At the onset of the 2023-24 season, a potential move to Real Sociedad seemed imminent for Donny. However, the deal faltered, anchoring him at MU till now. Reports from football transfers suggest that several clubs, including Barcelona and Galatasaray, harbour interest in signing him come January. Now, let's talk about Christian Eriksen, a seasoned presence within the squad. In terms of bolstering Manchester United's midfield creativity, Eriksen occasionally emerges as the solution. However, the club faces a dilemma concerning his declining physical condition, a far cry from his peak days. Ever since sustaining an ankle injury early in 2023, Eriksen's physicality has been marred by frequent disruptions, exacerbated by his current absence due to a knee injury. Injuries are a precarious facet of a footballer's career, and Eriksen seems to struggle, especially when tasked with aiding the defensive line. United acquired Eriksen on a free transfer last season, and while he remains under contract until 2025, his physical limitations coupled with advancing age pose a challenge in fetching substantial returns from a potential sale. Hence, United must navigate cleverly to secure lucrative offers considering Eriksen's circumstances. Rafael Varane, another senior figure potentially departing Manchester United next January. The club acknowledges his discontent within the Manchester setup, and there are several other compelling reasons prompting United to contemplate his departure. The Red Devils weigh Varane's sale for three primary reasons. Firstly, at 30, 
his susceptibility to injuries has escalated since his arrival in the 2021-22 season, tallying nine distinct setbacks, frequently sidelining him during crucial fixtures. Secondly, with a contract tethering him to Old Trafford until summer 2025, a swift sale could inject income into United's coffers. Presently, clubs from the Saudi Arabian League lead the race to secure Varane services. Lastly, the strained rapport between the player and Ten Hag casts a shadow. Varane harbored discontent over recent benchings by the tactician, straining their relationship further. Victor Lindelof doesn't sit at the bottom of Manchester United's defensive hierarchy, yet sacrifices are inevitable should the team aim to secure a new defender in the impending transfer window. Given Harry Maguire's commendable attitude and performance, Lindelof emerges as the prime candidate for departure. Under Ten Hag, there was a marginal uptick in Lindelof's performance, albeit not substantial. While adept in distributing the ball, he continued to struggle in aerial and one-on-one -on -one duels against opponents, an aspect that's proven challenging to rectify. With Lindelof's contract concluding in June 2024, cashing in on him during the winter transfer window seems prudent to prevent a potential free departure. However, his sale might hinge on Varane's transfer. If Varane opts for an exit, Lindelof could potentially be retained for rotational purposes within the squad. Lastly, Marcus Rashford emerges as a potential debate point when considering the list of players Manchester United might part ways with. However, an assessment of his performance throughout the 2023-24 season's first half might incline agreement with this proposal. Undoubtedly, Rashford's form seems to have dwindled considerably, witnessing a stark drop in work ethic compared to the previous season. In the prior season, Rashford's contributions amounted to 40-plus goals across various competitions. Yet, in this ongoing season, his tally rests at a mere two goals for Manchester United. Beyond his gold drought, Rashford's demeanour often mirrors that of Marshall, a lackadaisical approach when the team is defending. Despite these shortcomings, Rashford remains the least likely to depart. His allegiance to the club, coupled with Eric Ten Hag's willingness to exhibit patience, preserves his standing. Reports from goal suggest Ten Hag's recent counsel to Rashford, urging him to enhance his performance. Ten Hag holds out hope that the Manchester United Academy product will follow the trajectory of Maguire, who rebounded from a rough patch to excel.